Today we'll see one more uh, important topic uh, which will be useful for the interviews called uh, work type. So you may see this question in interviews. Can you explain that what is the use of the work light and which scenario you have created this work light? And also they can ask a question like what's the difference between workflow and work light? So there are many ways they can ask the question here. So as everyone knows that, I mean, uh, I mean, you will be familiar with workflow. So how to create the workflow and how to execute that. So, but coming to worklet, so we'll see now how we can create the worklet and uh, which scenario we are going to use this worklet. Okay. So you can see that informatica level we have a, if you go to, you know, go to workflow manager, we have a, a task developer and workflow or worklet designer and workflow designer. So if you see the workflow, workflow designer here, we create a, here we create a uh, workflow and session, we'll execute that. So I have a tab called workflow designer. So which scenario we are going to use this one? Okay. So whenever you want to reuse the code, so whatever you have built in, uh, yeah, sorry, whatever you have built in the workflow, suppose there is a workflow one, I have two sessions, workflow two, I have two sessions, workflow three, I have three sessions. So I have totally seven sessions I am having. I want to set the dependency between these workflows. So what I mean to say is first, if this particular workflow is complete, then run this workflow three, then run this workflow two. So I want to set the dependency such case you can go with the worklet concept. So main thing is, if you want to set the dependency between the workflows, then you may go and create a worklet. And second thing also, second thing here is, whenever you want to reuse the code, so whatever we have built, suppose, let's see, I have a, uh, two sessions here, I have two sessions here. So I want to reuse this. I don't want to create one more session. I mean, four more sessions, I don't want to create one more time. So you can copy and use in that particular worklet and you can use. So main thing is just reusing the code here. Okay, the main concept of workflow is reusing the code. And second thing is, if you want to set the dependency between your workflows, you can use a worklet. But if you want to set the dependency between these workflows, whatever the uh, workflows you are going to set a dependency, that should be in the same folder. Then only this worklet concept works. So if the workflows in the different folder, we cannot set the dependency by using a worklet concept. So worklet also looks like a workflow only, which is used to reuse the code. Suppose if you want to set some dependency between your workflows, so which is available in the same folder, then you may go and use a worklet concept. So where we create this worklet is, again here, we have a tab, right? So worklet designer. So here you can create a worklet and you can set the dependency between the workflows. Okay, let's assume, so I have totally four sessions here. So this belongs to one workflow and this belongs to one workflow. So I want to set the dependency between the first, this should, these two should run, then after that, this should, these two should run. So such case, right, what you can do is, you can call these four sessions into worklet and you can, Execute the worklet under one workflow. But one more thing you have to remember here is one more thing you have to remember here is directly we cannot execute the worklet in Informatica. So if you want to execute the worklet, you have to call under the workflow. So what we can do here is so first what we'll do, we'll try to create a worklet. How to create a worklet? So we can go here, worklet designer, create it. You can't okay. So edit that one. Let's see. Apply. Okay. So one more thing here is you can see that insert worklet we have an option here. That means if we have one worklet, I mean you can add one more worklet inside. So if you see that maplet concept. So if you have one maplet, again, if you want to insert one more maplet inside, so it is not possible. 
So, but coming to worklet, so if you have a worklet under that, you can add n number of worklets that's possible. So, this is an interesting question. Suppose I have a worklet. So, can we include a nested worklets inside a worklet? Yes, it's possible here. So, what I mean to say here is we have we are going to create a worklet, but I already have some existing worklets, you know. Yes, you can add it. Okay. So that particular worklets, right? You can add it to the worklet. Just give it a moment. Okay, so now if you want to insert one more worklet, go here, insert worklet. Okay, now you can see that you can add a one more worklet here, which can be a valid case in the informatica. But the only thing difference you have to remember is maplet you have inside maplet you cannot add one more maplet, but coming to worklet you can add. One more worklet, I mean, not one more, so multiple worklets you can add inside your worklet. So that is a possible case. So now my requirement is so my requirement is, as I said, I want to run this first. Okay, I want to run this first. Okay, this is one worklet. Okay, you can see that this is one worklet. So what I need to say here is this, I'm going to create two worklets instead of two workflows. I am going to set the dependency between them because directly we cannot set the dependency between the workflows, right? We can set the dependency in the session level, but if you want to set the dependency between the workflows is directly not possible. So what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding the sessions over here. It's considered as a one workflow now. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more worklet to okay. So here I'm going to use this to let's see. So now you have two worklets. So now what you can do, you can create one more worklet. I can set the dependency between these two, right? So now I'm drag and drop. Sorry, not like this. You have to go here. How to add the worklet? If you drag and drop, it won't work. Go to worklet, sorry, task, insert worklet. Whatever you want, you can insert here. So now, see here. So what exactly this mean now? It is just looks like a workflow now. Okay, this is one workflow and this is one workflow. So now you are going to set the dependency between them. I mean to say that, so I will, if I execute this one, it acts like a one workflow and this execute one more workflow, you are calling under one workflow. So now what, what happening here is just now see here, I'm just using a link condition here. So whenever status is equal to, Okay, then I want to, now I have such a dependency, right? That means this, this is complete, then run this. This contain two sessions, this contain two sessions. That's what our requirement now. So now, one problem here is, so we cannot execute this worker directly. So now, even though you have two worklets here, connected to some other worklet, but you cannot, but you cannot run this one. So if you want to execute this, you have to, go to any of the workflow. So, okay. Sorry. So now you have to call this under this particular workflow. Okay. So when, how to connect that one? So this is what the work that we have used. And just connect that. Now you have an option to execute and start. Okay, so this is what how we can create the worklets and how we can run that. So 
Remember, work rate when we go is the points you have to remember here is if anyone asks an interview, can you tell me what is the work rate? So, work rate is like a which is used to reuse the code which is available in the workflow level. Suppose there is a requirement, I want to uh, reuse the tasks, whatever we have in the workflow. Yes, you can create a work rate. And also, if you want to set some dependency between the workflows, then also you can use a work rate. So work rate is similar to the workflow, but work rate we cannot execute it, but workflow we can execute it. But if you want to execute the work, work rate, it should be under the workflow. Uh, one more question is, as I said, right? So can we include a multiple work, can you include a multiple work rates or can we include a nested work rates in one, one work rate? Yes, it is possible. So we can add a number of work rates inside your work rate. The, that is a valid case coming to the work plate. But point you have to remember coming to the map plate concept, we cannot use the nested map plates. And suppose you have a work, you have a map plate inside, you cannot use one more map plate. That is the difference. But all these things see reusable transformation, work plate, map plates, all is same, which is used to reuse the code. Okay. So where we create this work plate, you have to go to the Workplace designer, here you can create the worklets. So here, whatever you create, remember one more thing. So we have a <clears throat> reusable and non-reusable. So whatever you create under this, whatever you create under this uh, worklet designer, that acts like a reusable worklet that can be connected to any of your workflow under this folder. But if you want to create the uh, worklet, you have to go to this worklet designer and you have to create it. So it comes under this tab so that can be reused anywhere. So suppose if you want to create a non-reusable, you can go to the workflow designer. So the tasks you can create. So, you know, here we have a worklet comes. That means if you create a worklet here, Okay, if you create a worklet here, where under the workflow designer, that will act like a non-reusable worklet. So they may ask a question here. So what are the different types of worklets we have? We have two types of worklets. One is a reusable, well, I mean, reusable and one is non-reusable. So what is non-reusable? It is specific to the particular workflow. Where we create this, you go to the workflow designer, go to the tasks, then you create, you can see here work rate. So this will be specific to this particular workflow. We cannot reuse this. But if you create a work rate under the work rate designer, that will be available in the left hand side navigation window that can be connected to any of your workflow. That is like a reusable. So this is what about the work rate. This will be like, I mean, uh, frequently asking question, can you explain that what is a work rate? Or else they can ask, what are the different types of work rates? Or else can you explain, what is the difference between worklet and workflow? So which scenario you are going to use this worklet? So all such kind, of, uh, such kind of questions we ask related to this work, worklets. So I hope it's clear for everyone. So we'll see in the next session with different topic. Thanks. Sir.